Hi everyone, my name is Wester Desamo, musician, bass player, music producer here in Berlin, Germany. And this is the last video in the series on how to play tapping on a bass guitar. If you did not watch the last video, I will suggest that you go and watch it before you watch this one. Because in the last video, I showed you how to play the chord in this video. I'm going to give you more details on chords on the bass and especially I'm going to demonstrate how to play chord inversion on the bass guitar. I'm going to split the video into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to show you the chord and the chord inversion. And the second part is where I'm going to play the melody and help you understand how you can also play the melody. I play the song in E major, so I'm going to demonstrate the chord inversion in E major. Let me show you quickly what a chord inversion look like. There are three things that you need to understand when we talk about chord inversion. First of all, the wood position, the first inversion and the second inversion. For example, here in E major, we play E, G sharp and B as a wood position. Now, if you want to play the first inversion, instead of playing the E, as your first note, you will start with G sharp and G sharp will be the first note and then B and then E. And if you want to play the second inversion, so you will start with the B and B will be your first note and E and G sharp. But on the bass, it's a little bit different because of the structure of the bass, but it sounds also the same. So don't worry. And this chord, it had the wood, the inversion that I'm showing you in E major. You can go and apply them if we were on the bass for a major chord and it will be the same. On the bass I play the wood position, E major, E, B and the G sharp. And if you want to play the first inversion for E, so you will start with the G sharp, which is here. G sharp and then E and B. This is why I said it's a little bit different, but it's because of the structure of the bass. So, um, but at the end, you play the same notes, okay? So don't worry. Now the second inversion will start with, the first note will be on the B here, and then the second note will be a G sharp and the third note will be the E. Okay. Again, wood position. First inversion. Second inversion. All right. I break down the melody into four parts, which will give you um, the opportunity to play or learn the song quicker and faster. The first part, we have only two chords, E major and the B major. Um, in this song, I don't really move uh, my fingers from this E to B here. So I use the wood position E and then 
first inversion of B major, which is here. You see? So. So the first part of the melody is that. And then the chord is the wood position, E. And then first inversion of B major. So now, how do I combine both melody and the chord together? So I start with the wood position first. The second part of this song is where I play the C sharp minor, B major, and then A major. But I don't really do all these things. The second part of the melody is where I play this. But I use my uh, ring finger to play it. On the first string, the second string I move again with my ring finger and then index finger plays the two last notes. For the C sharp minor, B major and A major, so I play them like a bass line. C sharp minor come together with the melody. And then the bass come after. A major. That is the A, A major. So instead of playing it here, so I prefer to play it one octave higher. But I just use my left hand to play all the notes because my right hand is busy playing the melody, so I use only my left hand to play the whole chord, one after another. Look. Again, C sharp minor. Now let's combine the first part with the second part. The third part of the melody starts with A major and then E major, but I use the first inversion of E major, which is that here. You can see I stay here on A major, so I just move my index finger and then I am already in E, first inversion. I play it uh, like on the guitar. I'm doing here only the picking. The third part of the melody is where we play. So I just do slide. I found that the slide sound better, but you can play them separately. Except I hold the A major. While I am playing the melody here, I hold all the notes on A major and then I play the melody. And then E, first inversion. Melody again. So now let's try to combine the first part, the second part, and the third part together.
the last part, this is where the melody sound like this. So here I hold the E major first inversion. Again, I hold all the notes and I play the melody. The two chords for the last parts are D major and B major. And the melody is... And that's for the D major. And then for the E major... So now let me play it for you. the four parts together second part third part fourth 